creating the Dream Peaking account from level 3, episode 2. If you want a brief description of what the series is about, check the description. Anyway, so we left last episode with 50 range with PK and Black Chinners, and we now have 700k bank. So I'm pretty much going to make the most of being such a low level so I can get these level 3 and level 20 Chin Hunters and make as much money as I can. I won't do it for too long. I'll make another few hundred K or something. Found a level 19 or something. There he is. Spec him out. That's a big XP drop. Did I get him? Beautiful stuff. How many chins? Last video I couldn't get any more than 29. 74. Let's go. Oh, that is worth bank. 245k. That is a third of my net worth right now. Please just one hit him. Please, please, please. Yes. Wow, there is so many people. Black chins? 17. Oh my, what on earth is that? Quick, 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 quick. This guy's so gone. Good fight. Oh, I got a glory out of that. I was thinking a glory was 30k. 12k. What happened? No, oh, he's too beat me. Just keep on running south. Yeah, I lose nothing when I get PK. It's all good. Right, let's just go sell all these chins now. 770k. 3.5k each. I've noticed that some of these molds go for a lot of money. Like, 1k for a bracelet mode? You can buy it in the shop for like 10gp. I mean, there's not much in stock, but they go for 5gp each. I'll hop around. Well, that didn't take long at all, and he only spent like 100 GP. And look how many I have. I'm gonna do some crafting. I've found a really, really good money maker. So first of all, I'm gonna get level 10 to spin flax. There we go, 10 crafting. Let's go spin some flax. Yay. Flax is only 3 GP each. I bought 500 for only 1.5K. And bowstring's 130 each. This is legit like 170K per hour for only 10 crafting. It's not bad. There is level 16 crafting. That's the only level I'm going for. I was doing my research before. You can craft different jewelry. The prices always change, so it's always going to be different profits. And I discovered that the dodgy necklace for thieving is really good profit. Make the opal necklace and then enchant it with only 7 magic. That's how much I spent on the supplies. 428 GP and the dodgy necklace is worth... 900 so i'm going to be doing this for a bit because basically just to progress this account as quickly as possible i just need to make money first for stuff like teleporting around the game quicker to do quests and stamina potions so the short-term goal right now is to make enough money for a dragon crossbow which is at least 10.5 mil plus other things so we're going to be aiming towards a 12 mil bank why a dragon crossbow because it has the spec bar the spec buy is so important with a dragon throne axe. So our next peak in build is going to be a low level range peer, probably around 75 to 80 ranged. I can now make expeditious bracelets at 22 crafting, 10 extra crafting XP, and they go for a similar price as the dodgy necklaces, so may as well. First lot done, 31 crafting, 24 magic. Let's sell them, see how much we made. Yeah, expeditious bracelets are the way to go. Some for about 1k. New day. Most of the molds sold, as well as the expeditious bracelets. I'm just going to keep doing this until 38 crafting, and then I'll be able to make the red topaz bracelets. Okay, turns out the opal necklaces just insta bought for 500 GP, so I'm probably best off just enchanting them. 300 GP profit per. There we go, enchanted like 285 dodgy necklaces. Whilst I'm waiting for it to sell, I'm going to go buy some more bracelet molds because they sold the easiest and for the most. Managed to buy myself 190 bracelet molds and the dodgy necklaces sold. And I only spent 175k including the cosmetics. There's 38 crafting, but we need 49 magic to actually enchant the red topaz. So I'm going to go to lava dragons and train some magic. Started off at level 32 magic. Let's see where we can get to and hopefully get some onyx bolt tips or something there's the first trip loot from six lava dragons didn't get the best of drops but 76k but the main thing is we didn't get pk and we got 35 magic so i'm gonna upgrade to fireball so with this method with a fireball i'm getting about 25 per hour and for eight lava dragons i used up 400 chaos runes so let's work out the average gp per hour 
but obviously when I get an onyx bolt drop, it's going to put the average up quite a lot. So I used 45k, and that trip I got 130k. I don't know, with fireball, it's probably 300k plus per hour. I mean, it's not bad for 35 magic, is it? Plus, I'm mainly doing this for magic levels, level 40 so far. The first episode has only been up 14 hours. It's almost on 10,000 likes, 1,000 comments, 110k views. The feedback has been insane. I've literally been reading every single comment, and pretty much most of them are all very, very positive. So, thank you so much for that. I'm, like, really, really, really enjoying myself at the moment. Just because I haven't played the game properly like this in so, so long. And don't worry about me, you know, maybe taking donations in the future or cheating myself. I'm not going to cheat because that would just ruin the fun for me. So, not a chance. I just got a looting bag, which means we can extend our trips to over double. Which is also kind of a bad thing because I'm going to be here with more loot. Just hope I don't get PK'd. No, I just got Onyx tips. Are you serious? Did I actually just get Onyx tips as well? Oh my god! I might actually be able to get- Nah, I'm not getting gap. Okay, I survived, but there's Onyx tips on the ground! I think he, he picked them up. He actually picked them up. I'm done. I've literally schooled up. I don't have any run energy though. Why, why am I trying to PK this guy with Fireball with no run energy? Yes, I actually got him. <sighs> what did I get? I got, that's not bad, 50k. <laughs> you know what? Screw this series, I'm dumb. I've, I've literally ruined the account, no I'm joking. I'm gonna get 26 prayer anyway, like I said, dragon crossbow, we need protect item. I was gonna bury all the bones that I get, cause you get 340 prayer XP, but the lava dragon bones are going for like 4.7k each, so I might as well wait, sell them and buy dragon bones to use in the gilded altar. I just got attacked and escaped right at the end of my trip. I'd have been so upset. 100k in the looting bag, I did start burying them at the start. 14 prayer, plus another 73k. If I don't get another Onyx tip drop now, until 49 magic, I'm going to be mad. About to hit 49 magic, that is the last live dragon. Didn't manage to get any Onyx tips, but that is a completely full invent. So I'll quickly get 49 magic by teleporting or something, and then we'll go make the red topaz bracelets and make bank. That's what we made from lava dragons. Obviously, it's not all profit, but mostly. So we're going from 45 crafting XP per bracelet to 75. Much, much better XP. And then per enchant from 17.5 XP to 59. That's how much it costs to make one. And this is how much I'm getting in return. Okay, they, co they cost 5k. I just didn't sell one before. Okay. So I'm making like 800 GP per and I'm getting insane XP. I need the mage XP. I also need the crafting XP eventually for Monkey Madness 2. This is perfect. I'm pretty much 45 crafting, which is what I need to make burning amulets. And they're even more profit. They're a couple hundred GP more than the bracelets. So this is how many bracelets we got. Almost 400. Most of the bracelets sold for 5.2k each, which is a lot more than expected. Rest are going for 5k. Whilst I'm waiting for the red topazes to buy, I'm going to train some cooking. Look how cheap I got these supplies for. That is nothing. Pretty sure cooking is all profitable. That'll do for now. 41 cooking. Need that for recipe for disaster apart from the last bit where we need 70. Only thing is with the burning amulets, I need to attach wool after it. And you get like 5 XP for that. But as you can see, they're selling for quite a bit more. For an extra 300 GP just to string them, I think it might be better just to do the braces because... You get really bad XP for stringing them. Okay, they sold really, really quickly. Just at 50 crafting. Nice little milestone there. A lot of bracelets have been made. 51 crafting, 54 mage. Whilst I'm waiting for this stuff to sell, there's only a couple of things I need to do for this next account build. I only need to get Avers, Horror from the Deep for the Book of Lore, get my ranged up, and obviously make money for the Dragon Crossbow. So, we're going to start with the Avers Accumulator, and the only requirement I need now is 18 Slayer, and 35 will cut in. Also, this will make it a lot easier now that we've got high mage, we can teleport all around the game. And of course, stamina potions, 44 ghosts. Ghost task completed, nine slayer so far. There we go, just about got 18 slayer with the task completed. All you need to do now, 35 walk in. 35 walk in, all the requirements for animal magnetism, just need to do the pre-quests. Cause I've literally done all these quests well over 20 times on DMM. It is so nice to use stamina potions and all the good teleports. 
There's the restless ghost. Also, priest in peril, the worst quest in the world to do on DMM, where you have to bring no food. I'm gonna time the quest like Frame does to make it a little bit more fun. Priest in peril, just over nine minutes. Drain or man or teleport. How amazing is that? And it's the chicken. There we go. Animal magnetism completed, just under eleven minutes. Well, that's really nice to have, obviously, for training and everything. There's only one more quest left to go. Horror from the deep for the book of law, and then just make money for the dragon crossbow and then we're ready to pk but yeah all the bracelets finally sold the bracelets sell a lot lot slower but they're worth doing as you can see some of them sold for 5.2 some of them for 5k oh 2.6 more cash so we started the video with around 700k bank now we have pretty much three mil we're a quarter of the way there 